So I did a couple of AMD driver test videos last week and it got me thinking. I haven't done a good benchmark video, let alone a benchmark video against the two AMD drivers. The two AMD drivers of course being the open source Mesa driver and the closed sourced AMD GPU Pro driver. Now we saw from the driver tests that the AMD GPU Pro driver isn't the most stable driver in the world, but if all you're going to be doing is playing games, it can offer pretty good frame rates. But how do those frame rates compare with the open source driver? Now this video will be one of my classic benchmarking videos where we'll have one synthetic benchmark and two game benchmarks, and the latter half of the video will talk about the results of the benchmark, so let's get to it. So if you just look at the raw numbers, it would appear that the open source Mesa driver is doing just about as well in most benchmarks as the AMD GPU Pro driver. Now obviously War Thunder is a bit of an exception, but in my experience, these numbers are actually quite deceptive. I found that on average, the Mesa driver has a higher peak frame rate, but it stutters a lot, and that's what brings the average frame rate slightly lower than the AMD GPU Pro driver. Take a look at this footage of Rust. Look how many times the game stutters as I'm trying to leave this cave. If I ran into somebody down here and we got in a firefight, I'd be dead, no questions asked. And then after seeing the benchmark results in Mordor, I called bullshit on it and jumped into the game, and look how bad it stutters. Now I'm well aware that I'm not using the absolute latest Mesa driver and latest kernel, but that's not really the point here. Mesa 12 is the latest stable version of Mesa that's available for distributions based on Ubuntu 16.4, and here I'm using KDE Neon. Now if you use a more cutting edge distro like Arch or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, you'll have a later kernel and probably the latest Mesa drivers. On the flip side, it's oftentimes harder to install the AMD GPU Pro driver on the cutting edge distros, so it's a trade-off. At any rate, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your guys' support, and thanks a ton for watching.